What is up, everybody, and welcome back to the channel. Happy Friday. In this episode, we're going to be talking about Saitama and where I believe we should go from here. If you're part of the Wolfpack, do me a favor and smash that like button on your way in. But you can see here today, Saitama trading in the 2646 range, up about 5% on the day, and the market cap is now at $1.4 billion. And a huge congratulations to Saitama and the community for reaching 327,000 holders earlier this morning. When I first started covering this token about nine months ago, it was at 5,000 holders, and now it's at 327,000. Insane growth. And we call that growth parabolic growth. Insane to see, but congratulations to the entire Wolfpack. Now, where do we go from here? If you missed the Saitama AMA yesterday, the Saitama dev team came out and they announced that they were shutting down the swap functionality for a few reasons. One of those reasons here uh, you can see is that the platform is stable across the board with 90% plus functionality, but we noticed about 4% of transactions are being affected by bots. This is an, an, an acceptable percentage by industry standards, but it's not acceptable by say Thomas standards. And essentially what these bots are doing, they're front running bots. So let's say I purchased a thousand dollars worth of say Tama. Well, these bots are eating up some of the transactions and I would probably only receive about $700 worth. So it was only affecting about 4% of people, but as say Thomas said, they're closing it down. They also went on to say, we have made a collective decision to pause and mitigate these attacks to get affected. Uh, transactions as close to 0%. We don't have an exact date of when we will enable a swap feature, but we are bringing on additional engineers to expedite the process and provide community update, community support. So they're bringing on more engineers, which I think is a good team, a good thing. More hands on deck is, is definitely better. Uh, and they don't have an exact timeline, but they did shut down the swap feature. Now, I'll be honest, the swap, uh, the launch of the SATA mask has not went as planned, right? It's it's definitely not been good. That's putting it lightly. Uh, but I think that, the, that we can still get this thing turned around. Now, what I would like to see for Saitama and the Seta Mask is to just launch this thing when it's ready, right? Not give any more exact times and exact dates because they've done it twice, right? They've come out and they said, we're going to go live this date. Then the DDoS attacks happen, which is almost out of the control of the team. And then they said on the AMA on Friday, hey, we're going to go live on Sunday. And then this happened as well. So I think, you know, third time's the charm, hopefully, but hopefully we can just push this thing out. Get it fixed, have these new engineers come on board, get this thing fixed, have it 100% working, and then just turn it on. Instead of saying, hey, we're going to go live on Friday, just turn it on. Now, with the Lily Finance thing too, everybody's waiting for Lily Finance. We have a report on this as well. Uh, as a result of this brief shutdown, the Lily Finance launch will be delayed until our swap function is reactivated. A new launch date will be communicated when we have more information. Now, it's obviously a little bit tougher with Lily Finance. you know. And I see the comments. A lot of people were upset. They're like, hey, I took off work on Friday to buy Lily Finance. And obviously, it got pushed back. So I do hear that with the community. But I think with Lily Finance, it is important to give a date. I think... Personally, I would love to see the, the mask just go live, just let it go live, get the swap feature up and running, get people on the application, and then you announce the date of Lily Finance, right? Because it is important. You know, the Saitama dev team and Lily want to give everybody uh, enough time, ample amount of time to purchase Lily Finance. So I still think with Lily Finance, you need to do a date, but I think that can be done correctly once the swap is out. Once the swap is up and running, then you say, hey, Swap is up and running. We're going to do Lily Finance in 48 hours, and that should be good to go. But those are my thoughts. I would love to see that. You know, it's tough when you put these expectations and say, hey, we're going to go live at this time, and then it's not. It's tough. And I think the devs are doing their best with this. And it's, it's look, it's tricky. It's very, very tricky building out an application that 300,000 people are using. Uh, and this idea really came to fruition like nine months ago. But ultimately, that's what I would love to see. I would love to see the Saitama dev team, you know, work on this thing hard this weekend into next week. Hey, take another week. Take as much time as you need. Uh, but just next time it goes live, just make sure it's solid. It's working to your standards and, and, and working, you know, 100%. And then announce Lily Finance and get this token out because it's a highly anticipated token. But those are my thoughts. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Are they different? Do you want to see them announce a date? Do you want to see them just get it out? Like I've said, kind of silently work and launch it. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. But that's what I think we need to do. Like we're in the situation. We can't change the past. We can't change what happened, uh, you know, this week, last week, the week before. But we can change what happens in the future. And I would love to see the dev team do that. Just get this application up and running out to the public. Then announce Lily Finance. And I think that would be good for the community and start building some momentum back on St. Thomas' side. Like I said, let me know your thoughts in the comments. Make sure to hit that like button on your way out and we will see you on the next episode. Peace out, everybody.